Welcome to this class. This session we are going to discuss about linear transformation of quadratic forms. So let's start by recalling diagonalization. of a matrix so let the given quadratic form b q is equals to x prime ax where this a is a symmetric matrix so let's have that so consider A linear transformation given by x equals to p y. So let's consider that linear transformation x equals to p y. Then, if you call this one equation one or equation one, applying transpose on both sides, of one, we get So we apply transpose to this and then apply transpose to this. Then you'll have X transpose. Now remember if you have A, B transpose, the same as B transpose, A transpose. So we'll have Y transpose, P transpose. So that's by definition. Let's call this main expression for quadratic form. Let's call this one star. So X transpose is the same as Y transpose, P transpose by use of this property of transpose of matrices. Now this implies that x prime a x is equivalent to where this x prime we put y prime p prime and then a x is p y this is just from definition Also, I've said this is x, and then this is what you've gotten as the transpose of x. Now, you see in this new equation, if you put brackets here, then letting this to be another matrix B. Call this question question two then two becomes x trans uh, x transpose a x is equals to y transpose a y uh, by because this place is b
So that's what we have. So this is the relationship we have that X prime AX is the same as Y prime B Y. Now, so if I call this one three, and say call this one four, applying transpose on both sides of three, we get B transpose equals to P transpose A, P, and then we transpose that matrix. And you see when you are getting transpose, then you change the order of multiplication. So we'll have P transpose, A transpose, then P transpose, transpose. So this is what is defining B transpose. So B transpose will be P transpose, A transpose, double transpose is just the matrix P. And since A is symmetric, then a transpose is the same as A. And if we call this one equation five, then five becomes B transpose is equals to P transpose A P. So P transpose AP is the definition of B from this equation three, which is equals to B from equation three. So this means that uh, therefore the rank of the matrix B transpose, uh, ma uh, matrix B is the same as the rank of the matrix rank of the matrix A. And in this case, we say that therefore, A and B are congruent matrices and the transformation x equals to py is known as congruent transformation. So in the next session, we'll see how or what the meaning of canonical forms are using this linear transformations. Thank you.